Hello everybody, Jess here with Key Tarot. Nice to see you all. Welcome to all of you new subscribers and welcome back to all of you who've been with me for a very long time. I appreciate you all. I appreciate all the likes and subscribes and the kind, kind comments that you leave um, below on our channel very much. Um, we're gonna do a reading for our water signs today. We're gonna go Scorpio, Cancer, and then Pisces. I will put the timestamps down in the description box below. Let's say a quick blessing and we'll get started, all right? Holy Spirit, thank Thank you for being with us all here today and in every breath that we take we ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them amen all righty let's see for scorpio i'm going to start with this deviant moon tarot for you guys find out what's going on out there this week Queen of Swords out. That's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but it really feels like you, Scorpio. Um, this is someone who's making healthy decisions for themselves. This is someone who's very bright. This is someone whose opinions are not always the most popular because they're usually very honest. <laughs> okay. Um, and I have the Justice card under that. That's Libra energy. And I got the King of Cups under that. Holy smokes. I feel like you have something to say to someone. Um, it could be in relation to... Um, a love relationship or something here this king of cups is cancer pisces scorpio energy obviously that's your energy as well it feels like um hmm, let me just this could be at work as well hmm. it feels okay there's a lot of court cards on here, Scorpio. Holy smokes. All right. I feel like we have someone who's holding on to something here, trying to hold on to something, trying to heal something. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like it's... So I, Scorpio, I have a, a lot of court cards. We got the Queen of Swords, we got the uh, King of Cups, I got the Queen and the King of Wands here, and I have this Empress here. So I'm just trying to decode this here a little bit for you. Let me grab another deck. Um, there's an energy of communication that's coming in this week about a situation. It could be involving a lot of people. Um, this could be relating to a work team or something that you're on. It feels like you're maybe being placed in a mentorship position this week, Scorpio. Um, it feels like you may have a whole team of people working under you. And it feels, this is good vibes, quite honestly. This is something that you deserve. Look, there's the Queen of Cups under that. Um, and there's the Magician again. Oh, I've got the Magician out there as well. There's a lot of um, positive change that you can add to a situation here. I feel like whoever you are, you've worked hard to put yourself in this position and you weren't really sure it was going to happen. I don't know if you were up for a promotion or something and you weren't sure it was going to come through. I feel like it is. Um, I feel like despite the fact that you are maybe possibly kind of blunt with your energy you have the capacity to help a lot of people here and it feels like a lot of people are pretty excited about you taking on this leadership role i feel like whatever this is it's a stepping stone into positive financial future for you it's um it's some place that you're going to be for quite a while. It feels like there's a lot of potential for growth here for you. Um, this magician energy, that's Ophiuchus energy for me. Personally, a lot of people equate that um, card with the sign of Aries. This may have been something that happened during Aries season, but it feels like you've made this happen. Mm -hmm. And you waited a long time for this. Yeah, there's the Three of Wands again. That's an energy of manifestation. It's like the minor arcana of the magician for me. You've got it out here twice. Um, so you've already got some repeating energies here, Scorpio. This, this is good. Some of you this week... Um, are trying to heal a relationship with a feminine energy in your life. It could be a mother, it could be a grandmother, a sister, something like that. Someone is trying to reach out, and I feel like this is you, Scorpio, maybe reaching out and um, expressing love to a maternal figure in your life in some way. We did just have Mother's Day, so this could be continuing on for you this week. It feels like 
for a while, Scorpio, you may have been in uh, maybe kind of a dark place for a few months. Some of you have had a relationship that has ended possibly because of a third party situation. Um, you may have felt like someone kind of tossed you aside and it really hurt your heart. My heart is kind of hurting right now. Um, and I feel like you're in this energy of moving on now. Yeah, there's the Four of Cups on top of the Four of Cups. I love it. Um, this could also be relating to a career. Um, someone, you may have been um, let go from a job and it feels like the, there was some stagnancy in your life for a while, but the truth is you are the key to whatever this situation is and someone has now seen the benefit of who you are. It's so interesting. Um, this Four of Cups energy is someone who was denying love for a while. Den there's an energy of denial here tonight. Feels like that's changing. There's a shift in your energy here, Scorpio. And it's taken some time to get here. That, Like I said, there was an energy of stagnancy here for a while. You weren't sure things were going to pick up. You weren't sure that this was going to come together. It is. Um, and it's due to your own hard work. You're a hard worker. And it feels like you are someone who works tirelessly to accomplish whatever it is needs to be accomplished. And it's noteworthy. Yes. Um, this Empress energy up here is Virgo energy. It's divine feminine energy. There's a lot of, it feels like you take care of a lot of people. You may take care of a family of your own. You may have, like you may have children of your own. You may have um, siblings that you care for. There are a lot of children on these cards. I've got the temperance card there, that Sagittarius energy. I feel like you, oh, this is, Scorpio, this is really good vibes for you this week. This is somebody who's coming back into balance after a time of either self-denial or a loss of love. Um, some of you, there's some upheaval here that's happened. I feel like with this justice energy, it feels like you were almost being squeezed Um like with um, kind of a dark cloud. Uh, that doesn't make sense, squeezed with a dark cloud, but like like just, there was like a tight grip that maybe, maybe an energy of depression around you. And I feel like that's changing. I feel like all of your dreams are starting to become a reality and it's, and it's not, um, it, it's because of your hard work, absolutely. You do it, you do it long enough, eventually you'll see the results, right? Um, you're going to have a lot of people this week reaching out to you, Scorpio, wanting to talk with you, wanting to find out how you're doing. Um, there could be contracts coming in for you. There's an energy of balance coming back in for you, temperance and this two of pentacles. Um, this Ace of Pentacles is a really good sign. I feel like by the end of this month, Scorpio, you're going to start to see a real positive reflection in your bank account. Good. Mm -hmm. I've got the Four of Wands crossing this. Um, crossing this communication energy. Some of you are going to be meeting a partner... I mean, I'm getting June energy um, for this. Um, so if you are someone who is single, you've been single for a long time, June may be a really influential month for you. You may be meeting someone that's a really positive match for you with this King and Queen of Wands. There's a lot of attraction here. This person may be a single parent or you may be a single parent, Scorpio. Um, this king and queen of wands, they're, they're known for being very attractive, very sexually attractive to, to others around them, very creative, very passionate, very driven. Um, it comes after you have let go of all of this. And I feel like a lot of you are still in the process of doing that. Um, again, some of you have gone through kind of a heavy depression in your life recently because, and I mean, it would be like, um last fall carrying through maybe the end of December, beginning of January. And the world in the reverse tells me that you were struggling to let go of people, places, things for a while. I mean, it happens to all of us, right? 
Um, mm -hmm. But I feel like there's been a change and it's like as soon as you let go of this, as soon as you move on, the, the gears start to shift and change. Um, yeah, there was some kind of a betrayal or an ending here with someone. This Ten of Swords is the Minor Arcana of the Death card, and it was painful, whatever happened. And like I said, somebody, it seems like someone let you go, um, and, and there could have been a third-party situation here with this Four of Cups out here twice. And it, it was it was difficult. It was horrible. This can be an energy of divorce. I have the justice card out there too. That can also be legal paperwork for some of you. There's the king of cups again. Oh, Scorpio. You um just incidentally, some of you oh, some of you have a hard time communicating the pain that you're experiencing when it's happening to you. Um, and this may be this healing energy, this maternal energy. Maybe you want to call your mom and tell them how things are going for you. <laughs> Something like that. Someone feels like they could use a little extra compassion in their lives this week. And there's this energy of softness coming in here for you, Scorpio, that hasn't been present in a while. Um, whatever this ending was, it, it hurt a lot. It was jarring because you weren't expecting it. And I don't think it was fair. I don't think you felt like it was fair. Um, and it, and it, that's why it's taken, and there's this energy of being blindsided, okay? Um, and with this world in the reverse, I can see that it maybe turned your whole world upside down. Maybe you had made plans with this person. Maybe you had had a long-term partnership with this person. You may have shared a home, a family, something like that, um, a business. And whenever this betrayal energy happened, whatever this ending was, it, you weren't sure what you were supposed to do. And so you kind of had to sit and sort out your feelings and kind of rebuild yourself from the inside out. I feel like you have done that actually. And I feel like this is, this is a really healthy, happy energy that's going to be following you for at least the next couple of months, Scorpio. And you're as soon as, it really does feel like June is going to be a really influential month for you um, as far as meeting someone new. You, um, a lot of you are very single and you don't want any kind of a commitment in your life right now. And I feel like that's going to change. I don't think you'll be expecting to meet whoever this new person is. I think a lot of you are taking a break, um, in your love life. Um, some of you need to, um, be mindful of your health. Um, why? Yeah, I've got the judgment in the reverse here. This Ace of Wands is kind of an energy of, um, could be inflammation as well. Um, could be from stress. Someone may need to get their eyes checked. Um, but this judgment in the reverse is... I think that you, I think the reason you're pretty closed off to love, I mean, we've already talked about why, um, but I encourage you to not be because there's someone who wants to come into your life rather quickly here, Scorpio, and I think um, it's going to surprise you, but I, I feel like you, when you meet them, you may not be very open to them, but there's a lot of attraction here between the two of you. Scorpio, I feel like when you meet this per it's jaded energy. That's what the word jaded. Um, and this is so I'm encouraging you to incorporate this softness here into your life because when you meet this person, it feels like they're going to be a perfect partner for you, but you're you're so focused on not allowing anyone in and you, you're really still kind of um, bound up by whatever this ending here was. And for a lot of you, I'm just going to say that a lot of you have been unfairly 
I'm going to say abused in your life, um, where you've experienced a lot of endings. People weren't very good to you in a, a lot of you. Um, and this could have been something that was throughout your entire childhood and family relationships, early, um, love relationships. And I feel like some of you are carrying that pain with you. And I'll tell you, I think that's why I'm questioning some of your health here because sometimes if we allow these energies to sit with us long enough, they will start to manifest physically. Um, the I, I was When I was looking at this, I'm seeing a lot of yellow, which is solar plexus chakra energy. Um, these, these endings in your life have affected your self-confidence and your ability to... Um, allow yourself to feel love and I understand why um but it's it's something it's it's like um it, it's almost like a mental health issue some of you yeah and there's the empress again and I've got the nine of pentacles that's the minor arcana of the empress there's the tower sitting there right there looking at me. That's your card, Scorpio. I feel like it's time to, for you to address um some of these injustices that were done to you or around you um, because I think it's really important and I think it's important that you address them now um, because if you don't, I think they may start to manifest in your physical body um, with like stomach issues, uh, maybe intestinal issues, something like that. Um, but I just think it's time. I think you're going to be happier if you you may you may want to take yourself to um, a counselor of some sort. You may want to I don't know phone a friend something like that. But start talking about how you're feeling. What I was going to say about this King of Cups a moment ago before I got distracted happens all the time. Um, is you you're not maybe so great at communicating feelings to other people. And it feels like it's time for you to start opening up about some of the things that you've been through. Maybe um, there may be some people that need an opportunity to apologize to you. Um, I encourage you to be open to that. Again, there's this energy of softness coming towards you and it's needed because at this point, I feel like you are, again, focused on these three swords here that you're carrying with you and you're turning people away. Um, just it's, and, and I think that people want to love you, um, but you've been through an awful lot here, some of you. And again, some of you, this has been throughout your entire life where you feel like people just haven't been very, giving loving or receiving of you and it's time for there to be a change it's time to address some of these things because you do have a lot of love coming towards you here Scorpio and I, I want you to be in the best position you can be to receive it when it gets here okay um, all right, I'm going to close it out right there for you guys. I love you all very much. I appreciate you. Thank you for letting me read your cards for you today. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are so inclined. Um, and hang in there. I feel like June's going to be a real good month for you, so get ready. Yeah. All right, much love. See you soon. Mwah. Next up, we have Cancer. Cancer, I'm going to use this Tarot of Wonderland for you guys. Find out what's going on for our Cancerians. the five of cups out there cancer i feel like you're tired of constantly trying and trying and trying in relationships i think that um some of you may have been involved in a third party situation and it was rather damaging to your life and i've got this eight of wands Woo on its side it's real hard for you to maybe talk about this it's there's an energy of Oof, hold on one second. Um, for some of you, whatever has happened here has caused some kind of an ending in someone's relationship. It could be a divorce. Um, you may be hearing about this this week. I'm hearing with this temperance energy, this is an energy of choices, making choices. And some of you, you had a lot of love for whoever you were involved with in this situation, but you let it go, you walked away from it, but it's still kind of hovering here in your energy. 
Um, there was a lot of attraction that you felt towards this person. Um, I have this King of Cups out. This is Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine energy. It feels like this was like a secret affair energy. This isn't going to apply to all of you, um, but it may for a handful of you. This Eight of Cups is someone who chose to walk away from this and now feels like, man, I don't even know why I ever wanted that thing in the first place. <laughs> it's just not worth it. It's going to cause a lot of problems. But I feel like, and I feel like it did cause a lot of problems. Um, it may have caused problems for you in your work, in your home. And while you were engaged in this third party energy, there was a denial of um, other more positive partnerships that you could have had in your life, but you you were kind of wrapped up in something else here. I've got the emperor on the bottom of the deck. It's divine masculine energy. There are, quite honestly, Cancer, you may have several options in your love life presenting themselves to you now that you are, I feel like you're done with whatever this situation is. Some of you may still be kind of enmeshed in this third party situation. If that's the case, I think you're starting to feel a little bit, there's, there's kind of a delusional energy here or being so overwhelmed with emotions and feelings that you're not sure what to do. You don't know what's coming next. There's a, there's some anxiety here involved with this, whatever this is, um, and not sure how this is going to work out. It feels like this, whatever this situation is here, it kind of haunts you daily. Um, I, it's not a great feeling. It's a, it's a feeling of like nervousness in my system. Like that, like the other shoe is about to drop or something. And someone who's kind of beating themselves up about this. Um, I feel like you're trying really hard to move on from this person, this situation, to move away. Some of you may actually be packing your bags and physically relocating, but at some of you, it's feeling like it's hard to do this. It's hard for you to either let go of this person or it's um, hard to get away from this energy. Um, there's a feeling of needing to, to get to safety and needing to be rid of this vibe. It's like you need to sage every inch of all of you and your home and your property and your car and, and everything. I feel like um, you may have been recently contacted by this person or their significant other. They may be letting you know that they're going through a divorce now because of this situation. Um, this is Aquarius energy with the star. This could have all gone down during Aquarius season. I've got the four of wands there. Snap. You were meant to know this person. This person's been very influential in your life. That's for sure. Um, but there was this realization for you when this happened that it was, um, it wasn't healthy. It wasn't right. You may have wanted to marry this person, but I feel like they were already married or you were already married, something like that. And so you cut this energy out and, and this five of swords can be the energy of gossip. It can be slander. Uh, you may feel like you have um, a tarnished reputation. You may feel like people are talking about you behind your back. Um, don't, don't worry. This is going to be clearing up cancer. Um, for you. There's an energy of healing. There's an energy of restoration of health, but it comes after you walk away from this. You've had a real light bulb moment here, Cancer. Absolutely. You've got a lot of Leo energy on here. This tells me that towards the end of the summer, this is going to be something that's cleared out of your life. Mm -hmm. um, I've, this is the strength card and, and it's encouraging you to lean on family and friends. Mm -hmm. um, you could have been dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, there is this, this need to confide in people who are close to you to lean on someone for support. Um, that's going to help you get through whatever this energy is. I'm going to, the, whoever you were involved with here, they were very attracted to you. And it seemed like that sexual passion kind of took precedence over any kind of logic. Yeah. Um, oh boy. And now I feel like you see this person as kind of a ridiculous 
person in your life. That's mean. I know that sounds mean, but there's somebody who, like I said, like, why would I ever want that thing in the first place? I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking clearly. I wasn't thinking logically. I don't know what I've done. And I feel like it's torn up my life, their life, somebody's life here. And there's somebody who is just saying, you know, it's not worth it. This person, what this situation wasn't worth it to me. And you're seeing whoever this was in a very different light now. They keep trying to extend their heart, their love to you though. And I don't think you're, and I think they're, that you can expect a message from this person this week. Um, it will be a message where there's like an energy of being hurt and, and almost like crying over spilled milk. But it's kind of like what's done is done. There's the devil under that. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. It's the secrets are coming out now. It's like it's all bubbling up to the surface. All right, let me get another deck here. Let's um let's use this after tarot. This could have affected you at work. Mm. Um and it definitely affected a marriage with this hierophant energy. Um, I have the fool card. Um, I think you want a total different change, but you're still kind of, I mean, you weren't thinking. Somebody wasn't thinking when this happened. Um, you were so focused on love. This is like my love bubble card. You were so focused on these loving feelings, these sexual at attractions to this person that you, you didn't, you didn't really, you weren't really considering the consequences of this. And now we're kind of left hanging on this ledge here. Um, this, this judgment card is this, this wake up call. Um, what this has done to your re reputation, whatever, um, feels like that's been this dawning moment of, I never want to be part of this scenario ever again, kind of feeling. Um, um, yeah. You have a lot of communication cards coming in here. And it's, it's like you're going to be forced to deal with this. And forced to make a decision. It feels like you may have people arguing about you, over you. Uh, it's not great. It's not a great vibe. This isn't going to be for every cancer out there, thank God. Um, but for a couple of you, this may be your story. I got the strength card out there again. I feel like there's going to be a time, I feel like you're going to be spending a lot of time kind of on your own, kind of doing what you need to do, taking care of your responsibilities, making sure your life starts to flow in a healthier, more positive way. I don't think you're gonna be open to this energy ever again. However, I think they're gonna keep trying and I feel like this person, that whoever you were involved with here is gonna be messaging you, letting you know that their life has essentially fallen apart and that they wanna try again with you. But I think at this point, you're seeing them in a different way and you don't want to continue a relationship with them. Some of you have started relationships with other other people since this happened. I don't know if this was a long time ago. I don't know if this is something that's just happened now, but it feels like the shit is currently hitting the fan. Does that make sense? Um, again, there's an energy of communication here and it feels like you thought maybe this was going to be able to be brushed under the rug and here it is coming up again. And there's... <clears throat> I feel like you're totally done with this person and they're not totally done with you. Great. Um, and you are not gonna be expecting this communication when it comes. Um, I think at this point, you've changed. There's the lovers again. 
you've changed. I don't think this other person has. Someone, there's, because with this devil and this lovers, they're very similar energies. They can feel very similarly, and they usually involve um, a third party or a choice of some kind. I don't think you want to be tied to this anymore. I don't think you want to be associated with it anymore. There's like this reckoning moment that happens with this judgment card. There's almost like a resurrection of this in your life. And now we're having to discuss it. And now we have people discussing you. And I think you know that. And I think that you weren't expecting this to come up at the time that it's come up. I think you've been separated from this other person for quite a while. But now, now we're going to have to look at it. And I feel like... You're really trying to put up healthier boundaries for yourself and you're really, really trying. You're, there's this, this, what was I thinking? Who was that person to me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's the eight of cups again. There's kind of lingering energies here around you, whether you're done or not. I feel like you're going to be, um, like I said, kind of isolating yourself here for a little while, Cancer, um, through... Through the first couple of months of summer here, and again, this is not for every Cancerian out there. Um, if this is not your message, don't forget, check your um, your rising signs, your moon signs, or your Venus signs. Um, but somebody here is having to make a choice. I feel like they're choosing you, you're not choosing them, right? And I feel like you are really trying to keep to yourself, maybe your closest friends, family, and it's hard for you to come clean about this, to talk about this um, to everyone. This, this person is, this whoever you were involved with here is trying really hard to um, control the flow of the information. It feels like you have a lot of people talking about you or this person has a lot of people talking about them. You know, see all the birds just kind of squawking around. Um, and now this person's having to own it and it doesn't look so great. There's like a pending, pending divorce here or something on the table. And I feel like you may be contacted by one or two of the people in this party this week. And they may be letting you know that that's something that's going on in their lives. I think that you're done and over it. I think that you're, you're probably not going to feel clear of this energy until the end of the summer, if I'm being quite honest. Um, and then I think it's going to be removed pretty rapidly from your system, but it does take some time for this to heal. It takes some time to move on. And, uh, I think that's kind of what you're looking down the barrel of here, Cancer. All right. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again soon. Mwah. All right. Next up we have Pisces. Pisces, I, 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 what do we want to do for you? Let's use this Mariel Tarot. Nah, actually, yeah, let's use this Star Power Tarot for you guys. What do we have for Pisces? Hmm. Okay, Pisces. I feel like you're, um, well, all right. I've, I've got the three of swords in the reverse. What's on the bottom here? Good. Um, three of swords is that energy of a breakup. I always call it the Ben and Jerry's card of the deck, right? It's painful. It's a terrible ending. Um, but when we have it in the reverse, I feel like you've already started to heal from this, whatever it was. Um, it's like you're cleaning up the tissues, right? <laughs> cleaning up your life, cleaning up whatever this person left behind, um, cleaning up your feelings about it. I have the hermit on its side. That's Virgo energy. And I've got the high priestess on its side, which is your card, Pisces. Um, I think that you're slowly starting to feel like yourself. It's it's due to a time of um, maybe isolation or, or solitude, more likely. The hermit is someone who now is wiser. They are someone who um, gains a lot of wisdom from their time spent um, alone in meditation, in prayer. Um, this high priestess energy, you, these are very spiritual cards you have here. Um, I think you're really happy to be in this state. I think you've grown a lot into yourself here, Pisces. I think you're surprised by how much um, you've grown spiritually in the very recent past. 
there's someone who's much more comfortable on their own than they were before. Mm. I have the Four of Swords. That's the energy of a separation. Yeah. Um, this is still kind of weighing heavily over you. This energy is kind of weighing over you a little, but it does feel like it's something you've started to move on from here. It was just, it's just a lot. It's emotionally overwhelming. Um, you may have lived with this person, shared a home with this person. There's just a lot of debris. I have the strength card out for you guys. Um, you've got some very healthy cards on here, Pisces. It feels like you're just shifting into this energy of strength though. Um, some of you uh, may be buying a new home. Some of you may be receiving a promotion at work, some kind of a windfall of money. There's an energy of stability returning to you. And the Wheel of Fortune, good. Oh, this is really good, Pisces. Um, there's about to be a change here for you. I'm, I'm really liking this. All right, let me get another deck. Um, this, this is about to become a lot more positive for you. I, I see where you've been. I see where you're headed. And you're headed to a lot of really good things. This Wheel of Fortune is positive karma. It's It feels like you waited a long time. I feel like you sat in whatever this relationship was for a really long time. And I think you waited to end it. I feel like you are the one who's done the ending here. Um, it, when it's time, it's time. And I, I think that you may have pulled the plug on something and... It was hard for you to do it. You may have loved this person very deeply, but something was happening where you just, something started to fall apart here. This is someone who feels like something's caught up with them in this relationship and you couldn't do it any longer. Um, you, this, and this is, this is not going to be for everybody, but some, someone in this partnership may have had some drug issues or alcohol issues, some kind of dependency on, on something. And it was troubling to, to maybe you or to something. Yes. Um, okay. I've got the moon over here on this side. Um, I feel like you've wanted to, you wanted to leave this relationship for a long time, but you just, you, you couldn't do it. You, you kind of stuffed your feelings down for as long as you could and, and you couldn't do it. Somebody kept holding on to someone because they, they saw a future with this other person, you or this other person, but the future never came, you know, like the, you never felt complete with this person. It was always like off in the distance, like it's almost perfect, it's almost good, it's this, it's that, but it's it's not really, it's just always in the distance. I have the devil in the reverse, yes. Um, like I said, this person may have struggled with addictions, codependencies of some kind. Um, that they, they really couldn't let go of. And so you had to let go of them. Um, and like I said, it feels like it's caught up to someone here. The devil is um, Capricorn energy. It, it was... I mean, this could be you. Feel free to flip-flop the energies um, when it comes to tarot. It's hard sometimes to tell which side of the coin we're on here in these stories, but you'll know. Um, I have the chariot. This is Cancerian energy, someone who's ready to move forward. You have new love coming towards you. Oh, and what was I saying? There's, oh my goodness, so many blessings and so many new beginnings here for you, Pisces. Oh my goodness. I'm so, so excited all of a sudden. So this chariot energy is Cancerian energy. That's summertime vibes, right? Um, it feels like you're going to, you may be moving house. You may be buying a new home. This lover's energy under this is Gemini energy. You got a lot of, like I said, summertime, summertime, summertime. And I feel like you may be meeting someone new um, in the summer. There's just a lot of closing out of cycles. There's a lot of blessings coming towards you, possibly a relationship 
type of significance. Whatever this was that you left, you sat in it for a long time, at, for, for, for too long, and you know it. And you kept expecting either this person to be a different person, or you kept expecting this relationship to be a different relationship, and you waited and you took your time with this and until you couldn't do it anymore. And now that you've ended this, now that there's this separation here, it feels like there's this return of strength. There's this return of um, energy and vibrancy. And the cutoff point is like right here. And that's when we have this shift starting to happen for you where things get a lot brighter in your life, like technicolor bright. And it's... Um, there's a lot of get up and go. You're going to be excited about things that are happening in your life again. Maybe you haven't been. You may have been a little depressed here for a while. And I can understand why. I think that you have friends that want to spend time with you again. I think that you have some new beginnings here. Some of you may be going back to school. Some of you may be um, getting a new job offer that's going to add a lot of financial stability to your life. It comes after closing out whatever this was, though, with this world energy. Um, there's like a real shift. Some of you may have some decisions to make. Um, and there's the hermit again. Um, it's You are gaining a lot of wisdom through times of um, solitude and isolation this month. Pisces. Um, and I love it. You're, you're going to get tired of being alone eventually, but right now it feels like this is what's shifting this. It's, it's just taking yourself away from whatever this was and spending time on your own. Getting to know yourself is really important for you, Pisces. got the king of cups here cancer pisces scorpio masculine energy you don't have to be male right um but this is someone who has a lot of love to express for another person you may um there there's it feels like there's a soulmate coming towards you here pisces and you may have to come clean about feelings that you have for this person or this person is going to express feelings for you it's not easy to do this I, all of a sudden, I'm kind of like emotionally, like I want to cry. Uh, I don't know why. Um, there's a lot of water here. Obviously, you're a water sign. But, and I've got the Queen of Wands here. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, feminine energy. It's like this person's kind of held the key this whole time. Um, whoever this person is, you're very attracted to them or you will be very attracted to them. I don't know. Some of you, you were in a relationship that you stayed in for a long time and now that this is over and you've started the healing process here, there's someone that you've known for a while and I don't know if you've had a relationship with them before, but they would be like a divinely guided soulmate energy here for you. Um, with that star card that's someone you're meant to know, Yes, here's the reason why you couldn't be with this person because you were um, involved with someone else. Mm -hmm. um, this three of cups is, it can be a third party situation. I don't think there was a third party situation here, but it you couldn't have that in your life. And so, so there was a denial of whoever this soulmate is. This is someone you're meant to know. There'll be a, a blessing to you, Pisces. Um... Um, this is someone that you may know through a family or a friend group or community, um, but but the, it it couldn't happen because you were you were with someone else here or they were with someone else here. Makes sense. Um, I feel like you're not with anybody now and you're taking time on your own to just kind of sort yourself out. Maybe some of you are moving house, like I said, moving um, with this chariot energy. However, um, now that this energy is cleared out, this, this Wheel of Fortune, tell me when this is happening because this is a major change. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. I mean, guys, I'll be really honest with you. Whoever this soulmate energy is, it, it's, it could happen within the next month or the next year. And I know you're like, a year? Seriously? Yeah, you know what? Sometimes these um, divine partnerships take some time. It takes some time to be in the right place at the right time. Um, but whatever this change is that you're making for yourself, Pisces, it feels like um, it's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And it's 
helping you remember who you are. You have um, the Ace of Pentacles. You've got the Ace of Wands here. There's a lot of energy returning to you. I see a lot of wings and feathers on these cards. And I've got this Nine of Pentacles here. That's the Minor Arcana of the Empress. Someone who's very single and independent. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now you have some clarity about this person. And now that you're no longer denying who you truly are, because whatever this relationship was that you were in over here, Pisces, it feels like everything that you ever wanted was always kind of tamped down. Like you weren't really allowed. I don't know if, if and I've got the Empress under that. That's divine feminine energy. Um, I, there was this need for you to always be the strong person or always be in charge or always... Um, pick up the pieces for this person's latest crisis or whatever it was. It feels like your needs were never met in some way. And I think that you waited and you waited. Like I said, you were always projecting this relationship out into the future that never came. And so now that you've ended this, it's helping you move on into a state of, of independence because the devil represents codependency, but this nine of pentacles is the opposite. It is independence and you don't have to be attached to this any longer. You're recognizing how truly strong you are, but also how much you enjoy yourself. Whoever this person was here, I think they made it difficult for you to enjoy just being yourself. Like you never could relax or if you were ever in a good mood or ever happy, they would find some way to come and rain on your parade and it was kind of a denial of joy in your life and that's not cool man I think that we have a major shift here and you're going to be meeting someone of significance or this person's going to be finding you you guys are going to be coming together within the next month to the next year I know I know TikTok, but just relax because I feel like you are learning to be happy on your own some of you have families that you are taking care of and you're just kind of you know, getting their life back together after some kind of a move here, some kind of a change here. Um, there are a lot of spiritual cards here. Um, some of you have found that you are very intuitive, that you're very psychically developed, and this is coming through a lot of meditation and prayer. Um, some of you have always known this about yourself, but this high priestess is a psychic, a mystic, a healer, someone who knows the mysteries of the universe. You could be having very intense dreams this month, Pisces. Um, I just tell me a little bit more about this lover's energy here. Temperance, Queen of Cups, very good. Um, so I Temperance is Sagittarius energy. You may be dealing with the Sagittarius here. Um, this Queen of Cups energy is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have another water sign coming towards you. Um, you've got the King of Cups. You've got the Queen of Cups here. This is someone who's going to be a very good match for you. This, um, If you are a, a masculine Pisces watching this, um, the feminine that's coming towards you is very loving. They may be a mother of their own. They may have recently been through an ending or they in the recent past as well because you've got the Three of Swords out there twice. Um, this this person would be very loving. They may have very beautiful eyes, something like that. Um, if you are a feminine Pisces watching this, um, you may have um, another water sign or an Aquarius Libra Gemini coming towards you. Some of you may meet this person during the next holiday season. I said, I know, a little bit farther out into the distance, but it takes time to repair whatever this is over here and move on. Things are coming back into balance. Again, some of you may be promoted at work um, and some of you be, may be making major changes. For some of you, you're going to have to have come clean to whoever this person is because you've had your eye on them for a while and you haven't told them or they will have to do that to you. There's an energy of vulnerability and being able to share yourself with this person. Um, let somebody in for the first time in a long time. This person may have long um, brown hair. Um, they may have, like I said, beautiful eyes, green eyes, blue eyes, something like that. Um, you may communicate with this person through dreams and not even realize it. You may have strange dreams about this person occasionally. Um, if this is a divine counterpart, that would make sense. You may have telepathic communication with this person. Alrighty, I'm gonna leave it at that Pisces. You are beautiful. You have good things coming towards you I'm happy about that because whatever you've been through recently it was painful
beautiful. Yeah, I think so. I think we're done with this energy, right? I hope so. All right. I will catch up with you guys next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you all. Have a wonderful week.